I could pull what the f I want on my truck. You know, some people, and I believe genuinely that it does exist on kind of both sides of the aisle. It's just, I see more clips of these lunatics who, you know, must just listen to CNN all day long and they don't go outside and touch any grass. They are literally insane. I, I don't really know any other way to describe it to you other than, of course, TDS. We live in a time where people feel extraordinarily comfortable conf getting in somebody else's face, putting their hands on them over what their political opinions are. And I just don't think that that's a good thing. I think that we need to get back to where people get smacked for that kind of stuff because it's just not uh, a normal thing to do. While I do think filming them and mocking them mercilessly is also a good use of your time. Liberal, literal pizza guy, liberal pizza guy freaks out and challenges driver to mutual contact because I assume he meant combat because a driver has a Trump flag. I mean, this story is happening in October 2021. You know how many times I think about the previous president during during my days? Extraordinarily rare. Do you know how many times I think about Obama? Never. Okay. Um, George Bush Jr., who is a disaster, never think about him. I think that this is probably the more normal uh, than, than what these people are just like living in this dream world where they're fighting some sort of weird fight for the, for the cause. Most offensive here is the concept of pizza in Cleveland. Really pizza anywhere other than downstate New York varies in how bad it sud diddly yucks. Hard disagree. I've been to New York. I've had plenty of New York pizza. While, yeah, it's good, but I, I mean, there's plenty of good pizza in the rest of the country, including right here in Milwaukee. Alice Cherry's makes an excellent pizza, in my opinion. Uh, but that's either here nor there, other than to say um, deep dish pizza is not pizza, it's lasagna. Anyway, smash like if you agree. This isn't a pizza post. This isn't an unhinged leftist post who allegedly freaked out and tried to run somebody off the road for having a Trump flag. Where the pizza comes in is that this jack wagon is wearing his work shirt at the time. Maybe he was delivering pizza too. I doubt this one made it to his destination in 30 minutes or less. Remember when that was a thing? I feel like the whole 30 minutes or less thing was like when I was a kid. I don't think anybody offers that anymore, do they? Anyway, I say allegedly because I need to throw up the usual viral video disclaimer allowing for missing context. We don't know what led to this incident. We can only assume what happened, and that is the crazy liberal is wrong. A good friend of mine, one of the nicest guys you'll ever meet, was almost driven off the road and threatened by a Papa John's driver near Cleveland, Ohio, because he has a Trump flag on his truck. And I want to break down the footage because I just think, like, if you have people in your life that are this dialed in, and by the way, that's, you know, if they're still living in the past too, I don't think that that's healthy e either, but whether they're like talking every day about how, you know, Trump was the best thing ever, or, if, or, if, you know, if they're talking about how Obama was the best thing ever, like turn the page. Okay. Like it's just, you got to turn the page. It's not healthy to live in the past. What I find remarkable is that people are still having meltdowns over Donald Trump. It was one thing while Trump was president and people would freak out over the mere sight of his name. It's been a year. Yet we still have clowns losing their minds and challenging people to mutual contact over a flag. It's only a matter of time before some imbecile tries filing charges against Trump over how badly he mind effed them. Also, without knowing anything about the Trump supporter, I've got 10 bucks to say he would have dropped the overweight pizza guy. My experience as the guy who first threatens to kick someone's rear nine times out of 10, a fake tough guy who would drop like Biden's approval rating the minute you hit it in the face. Or I should say, soon to be unemployed pizza guy, me thinks he'll be having an awkward conversation with his manager when he punches in today. Now, I'm going to show the actual footage here, and uh, I had uh, Sean edit it for. Why? Because what? guess what? Guess for uh, to make it.
family friendly as family friendly as it can be so leave a like on the video for sean for suffering through this video m multiple times to make sure that it was safe for viewing uh so we have pizza superpowers on his shirt i'm not sure don't get close don't get close tell you why what's good what why because what? guess tell what? me guess what tell me guess what yeah 2.8 billion dollars went to okay high damn what is your problem we're else? in a free country I just, I mean, imagine, just imagine running somebody off the road and approaching their car, by the way, like that's how unhinged these people are. If you're smart, you would never do that because you don't know who's in that car, whether or not they're armed, how they're going to react to you aggressively approaching them. By the way, this guy would probably have had every right to deploy some level of self-defense against this guy. Yes, I can pull what the f I want on my truck. I can pull what the f I want on my truck. Okay, okay, that's fine. That's fine. So that's fine. Okay, yeah. Okay, and I'm glad that you believe in working the way that you do. But you're an asshole for it. I mean, oh, it is a Papa John's guy. Oh, Papa. Like, bro. I mean, no disrespect to delivery drivers. It it's a job, and it, and and if you hustle, you can make good money at it. But, like, is this how you want to spend your time? Having an unhinged argument with somebody on the side of the road over their Trump flag? I would look at it this way. Maybe they exist. Maybe they exist, okay? Are there videos of Trump supporters losing their minds over at somebody who has a Biden flag on their car? Like, confronting them or throwing stuff at their vehicle? I mean, if it exists, that's not okay either, Okay. I'm sure that maybe it does. I just have never seen it. See, right now, when he reached into his car, I would have my hand on my on my uh, little friend. Not that one. This liberal will kick your ass. No, I guarantee. Okay. I mean, when he turned around there, he could have had something on. That, that's all you guys do is. As in the Ohio State. That's all you guys do is burn buildings down. All you guys do is. What? Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. He knows he's getting recorded. Out of that truck yeah, go ahead. And agree to mutual contact. I will mutual contact. <laughs> Obviously, it's combat. Will beat the this you. Look at him. Look at him. This is what they do. Come here. You. I will he's getting yelled at by somebody else. You don't even know what the f you're talking about. That's like now. Was he following him around all day? I don't know. It seems unlikely. This guy genuinely seems unhinged. And like, bro, like, you're delivering pizzas. You know what all my friends did when they delivered food for a living? They used to just have a J hanging out of their lip, have some good tunes going on, having a fruitopia in their cup holder, whatever the modern day fruitopia is. And they just chilled, bro. You deliver pizzas. It ain't that complicated. This guy could have lost his life. You approach the wrong car, you're not going home that night. This is absolute derangement. Get a grip. Hope you enjoyed this video. We'll talk to you again real soon. Huge shout out to this video's sponsor, Meta PCs. Now I know you're not gonna run out and quick buy a brand new computer just because I ran this ad, but what I would hope is that you'll keep Meta PCs in mind for a variety of reasons and use my promo code, the quartering to save big at checkout. Look, Meta PCs offers custom configurations. It has insane parts availability. They're one of the few people I see out there with the brand new NVIDIA 3090 in stock and shipping. When you buy from them, they offer you build photos as they work along. When you receive your PC, it's ready to go out of the box. It's 100% US-based sales and support. And one of my favorite things, it's a veteran owned business. Meta PCs is veteran owned. One of Meta's owners has served in Afghanistan and Iraq and received a purple heart for his service. Meta also employs military veterans in the Meta Operations Center and also provides systems to veterans going back to school to help them re-enter the workforce all across the United States. Meta PCs also offers financing. Head on over to 
MetaPC at MetaPCs.com. Use code THEQUARTERING at checkout to save money and support my content. If nothing else, go configure a PC, build a little wish list, and when you're ready, remember to use code THEQUARTERING at checkout at MetaPCs. I know I'll be getting myself a brand new one before the end of the year. Check out MetaPCs.com.